What's going on everybody? Today I'm coming to you from the bathroom. We are gonna be cleaning today with some all natural products, no chemicals, uh-uh-uh. So, as for the natural products, you might ask, what are they? Well, let me show you. We're gonna be using Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Castile soap. A little bottle of tea tree oil. It's to get rid of mold and like any kind of like black gunk growing in your like shower. So I figured I would try this. There's also gonna be some baking soda being used. Actually, quite a bit of it is gonna be used to be cleaning. Probably gonna need a squirt bottle. Woo! There's still a little bit of vinegar in there, but yeah. We're gonna be using water with it mixed with a bit of vinegar, whatever, and then I'll like show you the items that we do for that. And one big bottle of white vinegar! You know what to buy a big bottle like this? It's just cheaper this way instead of buying the little tiny ones. This is like four bucks. Good deal. So as you can see, the uh, tub is kind of gross looking, like really, really gross. So we're gonna be cleaning that out, taking out all the dirty towels, all the empty bottles, which I am a uh, bad habit person for doing that. Look at all those bottles. Garbage area's gotta be cleaned down there, it's bad. The grungy looking blue shower curtain's gonna be taken out completely. The cat one I'm gonna take down and wash that eventually. But I'm putting a brand new one that I got for Christmas, actually, it's in here. A shower curtain liner is what I'm gonna be put up so the bathroom will be nice and fresh. That'll be the finishing touch. So no more of this, and no more gunky looking towels or tubs. Gonna have a nice, clean, Bathroom focus. Yes. Also, Planet Fitness shirt. Got another membership. Shocker. When you're only five foot three. <laughs> no, actually though. But like, here's head level with the camera. I got another membership at Planet Fitness. So yeah, they gave me a shirt. I was like, no, I don't really need one. They're like, well, you paid for it in your membership. You might as well take it. So I'm gonna be using it to clean today, and I don't care if it gets dirty because it's just a random shirt. My sink is pretty dingy too, so that's gonna have to get done. It's bad. Look at it, it's so gross. Ew, oh, what's under there? So guys, the first order of business is gonna be taking down the old shower curtains so we can get in here and have enough room. We're gonna pull the towels in and all the garbage. So let's just start with that first. Plain soap. It's got like a baby powder scent to it. Uh, and just use soap and water to wipe it down. And I'm gonna use this old raggedy rag to wash it down with. So I'll show you the before kind of look. And then, you know, it won't be much of a difference because it's just dust. But I'm gonna use that to dust with instead of like plunge because that stuff's really bad for you. So just a little bit on the cloth. Can't really see it. It's just enough to wash it. Here's a nice clean close-up. No more dust. So then we're just gonna use the same thing, Dr. Bronner's plain old soap with water. Hello guys. And clean up this mirror because it is friggin' nasty. It's gross. Look at the difference of this mirror, guys. I literally just used Dr. Bronner's plain soap with water. I used that cloth from earlier, but it got all the uh, dust all over it, so I had to use paper towel, but look it. It's so clean now. Holy moly. Next up, we're gonna be using the squirt bottle with the vinegar, some water, and I also have baking soda. Underneath the uh, the soap dish, I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna be using the tea tree oil because there's a bunch of black gunk under there and I don't know how well that's gonna help. We're gonna try this stuff. So I'm gonna take the mixture of the vinegar and the water, I sound like Kermit the Frog, <laughs> and just spray it right on there, and it's already starting to come off. 
so we're gonna open up the baking soda. Look at that, it's sparkling. It smells kind of funny because I've never used these products before, but it worked really good. So I would highly recommend that. Toilet, I'm gonna use the exact same cleaning products, so I'm just gonna skip through the video footage for that and just clean that on the side and then just show you the after. I'm gonna use the same solution for this that I did for the sink. And this gunky little area, well there's quite a bit of gunky areas in the tub. I'm thinking about cleaning those because you see how yellow they look? From like the old rusty shower curtain, I'm gonna probably clean those off too. So there's the before look and I'm we'll show you the after I'm done scrubbing the whole tub and everywhere. So here is the after of the bathtub. Look how much better they look. Like they're still a little bit, but I got 90% of it at least gone. Um, so the bath mat's a little bit better, and up here there's no more orange crap, so that's great. So I just used a, that bottle for the vinegar water mixture, and then just threw some baking soda on top. The tea tree oil kind of helps, but now the bathroom kind of smells like a musky old basement, so I'm kind of not liking that. I just gave the floor a quick mop down, uh, and again for the mirror, and I used uh, just regular hand soap to clean those because uh, <laughs> there's not much hope for those, they're plastic, so the scent kind of stays in with them. But yeah, I'd say uh, using all these natural ingredients to clean the bathroom was a huge success, so hey guys. So I've got the bathroom back to where I'd like it to be. I didn't go through any of my stuff other than taking out the empty bottles because it was just taking up a lot of room, as you can see, and in the shower curtain, shower curtain, in the shower from earlier. Um, but I'm gonna finish with the con Murray method later on in my miscellaneous items with the con Momo. That's not happening today. That'll be another day. But yeah, floor is all cleaned up. I don't have a clean bath at though, so I'm just using a towel. I gotta fill the toilet paper back up. Oops. I put a brand new shower curtain on so it no longer smells disgusting in here. Uh, the mirror is all cleaned off. Oh my gosh, the shower curtain though. And last but not least, um, here's the bath mat. I did okay on it. It's still kind of there. I may buy a new one, but it looks a hell of a lot better than it did before. Oh, and by the way, Dr. Bronner's, you can shower with it and clean with it. It's super safe. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around and watching my new video about the bathroom cleaning. I really like this new shower curtain. It smells so much better. The whole bathroom just worked really well. Uh, if you're looking more into natural products, do leave a comment down below. I'll list everything I did use, as mentioned in before, but there's a couple things that I brought in later on. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, do feel free to hit that big red subscribe button down below. It is free and I really appreciate the help. I'll see you guys next time for the next video. Bye!